G'day, g'day. Um, here I'm going to be showing you how to create proper aerodynamic wing panels in Besiege because someone recently brought up that uh, the inertia wheels, which I will also show, weren't proper physics. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, here you have two different mechanisms. I use both. Obviously, this one's a lot more compact than this one. Um, if we actually go into the game and turn on zero Gs, I'll show you. So it basically works by the pistons are both joined to the same block. So when one's extended, it pushes this block towards the other. So if I show you, this one's on one, and if I press one now, it'll extend, which pushes the block. Um, this then creates a force on here, which you can see tilts it. And if I press two, the other one tilts it the other way. So obviously you can just stick a wing panel on there, and that then creates aerodynamic foils. Same process for this one, just a lot more compact. Um, yeah, so not really much to see there. Now to see it in action, I'll just keep it in zero Gs for a second. You can see that on the back here, using the slightly more uh, extended version, you have the bottom bits here with the pistons, attached to the uh, pivoting blocks um, and they extend and that's how the plane goes up or down um, and then on the sides you have the more compact ones which obviously work counteractively so one goes up one goes down um, and then yeah so this this plane let's just get it going zero G's. Um, it works quite nicely. I'll slow it down so you can actually see. So we're going to pitch it to the right here. This one goes up and then we'll pitch it back. And of course there's a wall. Um, so to pitch it left, this one goes up, this one goes down, then the other way this one goes down, this one goes up. Then, to make it go up or down, this has to go down to go up, and the other way. So, it goes up, makes the nose point down. Anyway, that's using uh, the water cannons. Now, normally the max you can only get it to is 1.5, but the sneaky, breaky hack that everyone uses is you take a shrapnel cannon you whack that bad boy up to four, you copy it, um, control C, and then you whack it into a water cannon, C max is five, you paste it, control V, and it goes up to four point oh, which is pretty useful in terms of generating enough lift. Um, the other way of generating thrust in this game is slightly more uh, space taking uppy, great English. Um, where is this? So here you see these are the inertia wheels that I was talking about. This is my old way of generating uh, pitch and yaw. So the wheels basically spin and because they're attached to a lot of heavy weight being the brackets um, or the bolts it makes the rest of the plane act in counteract to it. Um, see, quite powerful. Um, and then I had the same on the forward process being under here. So wheels turn, plane turns the opposite direction, which allows it to, if we just bring them up into the air, see, very effective, but not as accurate in planes uh, as aerofoils are. So, if I can remember how to make the plane go backwards, just drag them out a little. Uh, then, this is the thrust. So, you can basically, you can do this just through the rotation tool, but this I made before that was implemented into the game. So the way I did it was I created a sharper angle by using turning blocks on pivots. 
so it generates more thrust. Um, and then multiple wheels. If you use too many wheels, it ends up breaking it. And also these panels at the back, they spin, but that's to counteract. So these wheels spin this way, I think. No, they spin the other way, of course. So they go that way, which has an effect on this block, and this block is attached to the wing panels. So they spin in different directions. Wheels spin left, the wing panels spin, spin right. So if we get him up to full speed, now because he's so heavy, he needs help taking off, which I did through the wheels. Anyway, you can see how powerful that is, but obviously it j takes up a lot of space in a plane. So, I hope you learnt something new today. Cool. Great. Glad we did this. See you around, suckers.